Hello, my name is Sam. My preferred pronouns are he and him, and I've been living out of my pickup for 21 months now. The following is an intriguing look into my life. In this video, I will be tending to my crops, I'll perform a sacrificial ceremony, and I'll be going to a little person's wrestling event. I recently had people drop pictures of my hot dog spear. I took those images and I slapped them onto various items which I'm trying to sell to make a little side cash. If you do end up purchasing something, I thank you in advance. I just want you to know that I'll be donating the proceeds to my beer fund as well as towards an upgraded house. I live in California, which is a very progressive state, and a couple of years ago, medicinal greens became legal. I've decided to take advantage of this, and I've started a grow operation out of my mobile home. I have a hydroponic drip system set up nourishing my crops. The strain I've decided to grow is called broccoli sprouts, and this strain provides a more uplifting and energetic type of high. I'll take you to my grow room so you can see my operation firsthand. This is my drip system. I water it twice a day, one cup in the morning, one cup in the evening. This top layer is an example of a product that's ready to cultivate. It's been growing for about four days now. The layer down below is a fresh new crop that I planted last night. As the kids nowadays like to say, Broccoli sprouts are the bee's knees of the sprout world. They're loaded with sulforaphane, which helps with anti-aging, and it also helps prevent cancer. Growing these myself also helps me out financially. If you couldn't tell already, I am a cheap bastard, and I apologize for that harsh language, but buying a packet of these in the store costs five or six bucks versus buying a month's supply of seedlings for 20. I'm not sure what the street value of broccoli sprouts are, but I'm now offering them in dime bags. If anyone in the Sacramento area is interested, let me know. So far this year, I've made some very poor and irrational eating decisions. A low point for me was leaving 7-Eleven with a bag full of ice cream, Dorito Fuego chips, and some blue gummy sharks. I can feel my fupa filling in, so I'm trying to reel my diet in before things escalate. This morning I'll be getting my probiotic game on. I have some kimchi as well as some kombucha. I'll get this in my system and continue my day. I recently experienced a loss in my life. My trusty flip phone took a tumble into some water and unfortunately the damage was irreversible. This has brought the body count up to two now. The first one I dropped into a cup of water and the second phone fell through my legs while I was sitting on the toilet. I am a little fearful that the Chinese or the Russians may try to extract data off of these. 
So today I brought along with me my throwing axe and I'm gonna properly dispose of them. Got it. I took one phone out on the first try, mortally wounded it. Second one experienced a flesh wound. Rest easy, old friend. Although that wasn't an easy thing to do, with death brings new life, and it's time for me to move on. So I've upgraded to a device called a smartphone. Now this thing is pretty unbelievable. I can search the World Wide Web on the go with it, and I could also send texts with various images, ranging from eggplants to kitty cats. For lunch, I will be drinking this green concoction, which helps keep my micronutrient levels topped off. At work, we got a new Vitamix blender, and I've been taking full advantage of it. I'll throw some kale, chard, spinach, avocado, blueberries, and a variety of other things into the blender. I then go full on hipster, and I pour the final product into these mason jars. I'll keep these on ice inside of my pickup. If you're not used to eating lots of greens, but you want to try this, I recommend you doing so only with a bathroom nearby. This flushes you out and it does so very forcefully. I personally won't consume these unless I'm in a public park or I'm in the near vicinity of a Walmart bathroom. I've been trying to get into meditation and that's what I'll be doing for the next 15 minutes. I like to find a spot in the grass and I'll lay here and think of something that I'm thankful for. Today, for example, I am thankful for the last public restroom that I used. It only had minimal urine on the floor and there were zero hypodermic needles. My wrestling career lasted between the fifth and seventh grade and although a long time has passed since then, I still from time to time find myself wanting to throw on the singlet and enforce my will upon another man. One of my coworkers this year for Christmas purchased tickets to an event called Extreme Midget Wrestling. It's being held at a bar here in Sacramento tonight. I wasn't sure if saying the word midget was politically correct, so I went to the google.com to do a little research, and as it turns out, you are in fact not supposed to say midget. So instead, I will be calling this dwarf wrestling or little people wrestling. We have the VIP tickets, which means we get to meet the wrestlers an hour before the event. This is something I've been wanting to go to since I was a little kid. I'm super pumped and my testosterone levels right now are just through the roof. So I'm heading to the gym to let off a little steam. I'm gonna get a pump in, stretch, shower up, and get ready to head to my event. Luckily for me, my cousin lives very close to where the Dorf Wrestling event was being held. 
I'm gonna go park in his driveway and sleep off these Heineken Zeros. Prepare for another day of life tomorrow.